Okay, so whenever I'm shopping, I always have to look underneath because I can be fooled. I liked this little glass blown vase. I thought maybe it could be worth something. Looked on the bottom, it originally sold for $3. So that completely threw me off. This was very beautiful. Um, I wasn't too sure on that they were covering the tag. I don't have the best luck with big kind of awkward pieces like this. This was actually a really pretty piece too. Again, I wasn't quite sure about it. It looked like someone had made as a project, so I put that back. These MCM mid-century modern glasses were to die for. <laughs> they weren't part of my decor, but they were so pretty. There was just two of them, and they were a little bit more than I wanted to spend. Here are some more really cute mid-century cups. Um, again, I didn't want to spend $2 each on them. I wasn't sure about those cups. They were kind of weird. Here is um, what they consider like their vintage antique area in this thrift store. There is a lot of fun glassware. You got to kind of got a bit picky. Again, this looked like it was old vintage, but it was a remake. <laughs> as it said in the inside of it it mentioned it was a remake of a famous piece from 1811 so it was really pretty but i put that back and then in this area i know that these are really popular but they've made a bunch of bailey's cups throughout the years this was a newer one it's made in china and um, kind of the newer ones don't sell as well as the older ones. I thought this was super cute, colorful. Um, Mexican pottery is kind of coming back in style. It's kind of selling well. It had a really cute design on it. Oh, this picture was really sweet. I think, I'm not sure if this, this was a like a family picture, maybe someone graduated it looked like a couple of them were priests so maybe they just became priests and they were celebrating it I'm not quite sure that was a cool framed picture usually I can find some jewelry in these jewelry drawers but I didn't and the necklaces were okay I loved the design on this a lot of times when I look at the necklaces I look to see if I can craft with any of the beads if there's any crafting projects that I have going on where I need a certain color of bead or uh, glass beads I'm always looking for. So I don't necessarily look for the pieces I can wear, but something I can take apart and make as something new or something that has resale value. Um, I'm also looking for charms. I'm starting to get into charms but I didn't have much luck with the necklaces that I was seeing today. Oh my God, these shoes were <laughs> wild. These are the things I used to wear back in the 90s. <laughs> okay, so I finished going to the retail's thrift store because I donated there, so I wanted um, to go and shop some more, of course, and they always give you a $2 off coupon. So I just got a few things. It was pretty crowded in there. I didn't find a lot. I found this cute Mexican pottery piggy bank. Uh, it's the kind that you have to break open. But look at that painting. Isn't that beautiful? I just thought that was so unique, so bright and colorful. I think that's a little pig. Yeah. And as good condition, cost me a few dollars. Uh, then I got a grab bag of hankies for a few bucks. And I usually do pretty well re reselling hankies, so I picked those up. Um, usually I can find a lot more jewelry. This time, ugh, I didn't find much. I found this really pretty um, butterfly brooch. And I don't think there's a name to it. No. Um, but I thought, you know, spring is in the air. A lot of people are going to be wearing brighter colors going out. So I got that. And then someone who doesn't want a lot of colors and just wants a butterfly. Ooh. And it is marked. 
I did not see that. Anyways, here is the the brooch. It's silver tone. And I didn't even check to see it's mar if it's marked. Because a lot of times, even if it isn't marked. Oh, God, it's not coming off. Even if it isn't marked, it's worth something. Oh, God, I don't my glasses on. I think it's marked something, but I can't even read it. Oh, you got it. It's not going to focus. Well, it's marked something. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at it later and uh, put it in this video later. And I got this. I think, is this a Tenali? This is from Cancun, Mexico, but it has that same um, painting to it. The beautiful blues, the beautiful painting, kind of puffy. Almost looks like, um, I don't know, not like a fat bird, like a pigeon or something. But I got that for a couple dollars. And is that it? Oh, and one other thing I got. Aunt Martha's Hot Iron Transfers. And I've had luck reselling these. These are kind of hard to find. Looks like little um, baby animals and stuff. And I think most of them are in here. Oops, it dripped a little bit. That looks like that. So, so that is it. <laughs> that was a short little haul. But um, as you saw in the video earlier, sometimes it's hard to tell what is vintage and what is not. Um, sometimes I'll think something is really cool, like a glass little vase. And then I'll turn around and it'll say like it's from the dollar store. <laughs> Or made in China with a big old tag on it. I'm like, oh, my bad. But anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, hope to see you again. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. All right. Bye, guys. Until next time.